Right, so now we've completed the email password authentication section. So if we go into here in our authentication in users, we have our users registered in here with the email provider. So now what we want to do is be able to use the Google provider. So if we go in sign method, you can see here we have Google enabled. So again, what we want to do is in our app, if we click sign out, users been signed out, then I want to log in and then I want to be able to click the Google button here and then be able to sign in with Google. So that's what we're going to do now. So essentially, if we go into the login page and continue with Google over here, you can see here, this is the section now. So, so in this button, what we want to do is handle the auth with Google. So let's go ahead and do that. So now this A tag over here is essentially not needed. This can just be a we can keep it as an A tag. There will be an error in the console, but essentially what we want to do is when we click this div over here, this will then handle our Google authentication. So this will be an on click equal to, and then this is where we would invoke the function. So the function we're going to be call, calling is sign in user with Google. And now what we need to do is create this function in our Firebase helpers. So in authentication, I'm going to close these ones down and I'm going to create a new folder called Google Auth. And in here, I'm going to create a new file called index.ts and export const of the function that I've created, which is sign in with Google itself. So now what will happen is we need to handle this function. So the only thing we need in this function is the navigate, which is essentially navigating us to the relevant page. So navigate function which comes from react router dom like this and then this is an arrow function in here so let me just quickly save this and then we need to import it in as well so let me just console log google auth and then we also need to import this in so let's import this in and pass in navigate and this we need to import in so const navigate is from use navigate and we also need to import use navigate like that. So now essentially in here, if we save this and click the Google button, we should see Google Auth. So let's go ahead and check. So if we inspect in the console, I want to click here and now you can see Google Auth. So that is all linked up. Now we need to complete the function. So let's go ahead and complete the function. Again, this is an async function. So we will have the try catch blocks in here. And the catch blocks, as we've done in the previous video, we need to use the error handler. So let's go and grab this and import it into our catch block like so. And we just need to import as well. So now it's quite simple to log in the user with the Google provider. It's all you need to do is get a helper from the Firebase auth library. So const of result is equal to Actually, let me just fix this. It's equal to await, and then essentially we want to sign in with pop-up. So if we import this one in and have a look at what that is. So it says here, sign in with pop-up, it takes in auth, which we have exported already, and then it takes in the provider. So we need to import the relevant provider that we have. So in our case, it's the Google provider, and we need to import that in. So this one it is coming from the index.ts here. So if you remember, we created the Google auth provider. So this is the one we need. And we also need the auth, which we are currently using. So let me just paste that in and import that one in as well. So now we've got access to the result object. So now all we need to do is, first of all, check if there is a result and so on. And if there isn't, then no user found. Otherwise, we get access to the user with result.user. And now what we can do is we can console log the user. You could also add the user to the Firestore database as well but essentially we're not covering that in this video. But what we can do is we can do an alert just saying user is signed in, welcome or something like that. So let me just quickly bring that in. So let's do an alert, welcome and then user.display name. So this will be the display name from the person logging in with the Google Auth provider. Again, you can change this provider to something else, it's up to you. And again, what we want to do now is just navigate and then we could use the routes enum to navigate to the account page because that is the page that is protected and that will prove that we are logged in as well so that is all hooked up let's just quickly save everything and then test to see if that works 
So if we click here, we should essentially sign in and then go to our My Account page. So let me just quickly do that. So it says sign in with pop-up, which is this one. And you see here, this is signing in with Google. This is the account we want to sign in with. And now you can see here, it says, do you want to confirm all of this information? So let's press continue. And now we'll, we will get redirected to our My Account page. And now you can see this alert has happened as well. So that is how you would authenticate and sign in with Google as well. So now we have signed in with Google. If we go into our Firebase auth over here, you can see it says providers. And now we have the G, which means that we are signed in with Google as well. So that is quite handy. There's one little touch we need to do. So in our My Account page, if we go into it, so account index.ts, we want to first of all check if this is a Google user. And essentially, this is coming from use auth state, we're accessing the user, and then we have access to the provider data. So if essentially the provider data is the google.com one and it is a Google user, then we want to conditionally render what we see here. So let's just uncomment this out. So essentially, if the user is not a Google user, then they should see this. If they are a Google user, then they shouldn't see this. So if we go into our code, now you can see because it's a Google user, he's not. they're not seeing the features that we implemented for the email auth provider. What I could do here instead is do a ternary. And in here, we could return a, a P tag just saying you are a Google user or something just to confirm that this is the case. So you are a Google user. So now you can see here, it says you are a Google user. So that is all complete. So all we now need to do next is be able to delete the user from the authentication here. And we will do that next.